Rooftop Smokes is back. Another gorgeous day in Seoul. It's Sunday and we're gonna be smoking. This popped up. The Padrone. Another Padrone review. There's the foot on that. Don't know if you can see it. There you go. And this is a 56 gauge, five and a half inch natural. It's the 5000 series. Here's a look at the cab. So let me light this up and get right back to you. Rooftop Smokes will be back momentarily. All right, Rooftop Smokes is back. As I'm getting into the first third of this, um, a lot of spice with it. Um, some woodiness, again, the cedar tones, some pepper, a little pepper in it, not a lot, mo mostly spicy. Um, at the first, it did have a hint of hay, and you know how I like that, not at all. But smoke generation on this, one sec, the wind died down, so let's see if I can get some smoke generation off this. Yeah, the draw is pretty good. Um, very smooth draw, uh, excellent smoke generation. All these smokes, pretty good smoke generation on this one. Um, again, like I said before, this is the Padrone uh, Natural 5000 series, uh, 56 gauge. See the cap there, five and a half inch long. Not a bad stick. Uh, box will run you about 130 bucks or so, so fairly reasonable. Um, let me get more into this and see if uh, see if these flavors remain consistent, but. Still getting a lot of earthiness to it. The feel on this wrapper, it doesn't look too pretty either. Just like the other review I did yesterday. I mean, you can see that, uh, get a better, it's a gorgeous day today. Give you a better look at this wrapper. Yeah. Nothing pretty to look at, but again, not bad for a $5 stick. Anyway, I'll, I'll be back. All right. Rooftop Smokes is back. Uh, getting a little way, almost halfway into the smoke now. Um, the Padrone 5000 series, the natural. And, you know, not a bad smoke for the cost of it, like four or five dollars a stick. Um, I don't know. Would I really buy a box of these? Probably not. Uh, like I said, this is from the sampler set I got a couple months back. It's not a bad smoke, you know, easy to draw, um, sort of loosely packed a bit. Um, the wrapper's nothing pretty to look at. Um, it's, it's there. <laughs> Smoke it. That's it. Uh, the ash is fairly flaky at the end, but, you know, it's holding up okay. It burns pretty fast on this. Um, could just because it's a little windy today, but... Uh, Smoke generation, again, as I said before. Hmm. It's pretty good. Flavors, still consistent through it. Nothing special. Uh, peppery. A lot of woodiness, earthy tones to it as well. Um, I hate to say it, but a little hay, but that could just be me and my my traumatized experience from the last one I smoked from that uh, sampler pack. That was a 3000, if I'm not mistaken, I can't remember. Um, but still, not bad. There is pepper in this. There is some, a lot of spice. Well, should I say a lot? It is a bit spicy. But overall, the Padrone, not a bad smoke from Nicaragua. Uh, let me get down to the band and see if this changes, but I, I think it's going to remain the same. Again, share it with your friends. Uh, cheap box to pick up and, and share. Fairly good size ring gauge. Um, five and a half inch long smoke. Great to be back. Rooftop Smokes. Yet again, enjoying another beautiful day in Seoul. Be right back. And we're back. Rooftop Smokes. As you can see, the band did come off flawlessly. No tears on the cigar whatsoever. Although there is a bit of glue residue. Just a little. Just around here. It's not a big deal though. Um, again, flavors are consistent throughout. Um, smoke generation is still the same. I'm still getting the slight pepper and cedar flavors. Um, again, high in the earthy woody woodiness of it as well. Um, but that's about it for this smoke. 56 gauge, 5.5 inch. It's the Padrone. The Padrone 5000 series. Uh, about 130 bucks a box. You know, everyday smoke? Sure. Would I buy a box? 
Probably not. Uh, a friend gave this to me. Yeah, I'd smoke it. But I'm gonna get down the finger burn part and sign out. So, my fishing over friends, get okay. Until next time, bye, con Dios. Enjoy the leaf. Rooftop Smokes. Yet again, another review of the Padrone series. Next week, hopefully, we'll do a Don Pippin series. All right. See you guys and gals next week. Hasta luego.